You want to chase it? No, no. Let's go. Let's go. The rhino, he was running like a, like a mad lad because he was being chased by uh, these villagers. And then as soon as he passed this village, all, uh, all of the other villagers also started throwing rocks and, uh, and sticks at him and started chasing him. It's, uh, it's unusual. I've never seen something like this. It's great. Here, some, uh, someone lost his flip-flops while chasing the rhino. Hey, good job, good job. Very nice. Ah, you! You lost uh, the flip-flops. <laughs> He lost the flip-flops while he was chasing the rhino because uh, rhinos are fast. Now stay. Now stay. Whoa, look at that. Now, Sugo told me that if a rhino is chasing you, then uh, you should not run straight because they will be faster than you as we saw in, uh, in that shot I just took. But you should run zigzagging and if possible you should try to like circle because uh, rhinos are not that flexible because of their thick skin so it takes them much longer to make uh, a 180 turn so uh, then maybe you can uh, get away Sugo just told me another interesting fact about uh, rhinos and that is that when people try to hunt rhinos they, uh, they only hunt them by shooting them in the anus when they're pooping because uh, the anus is the only part of their skin or their body which is a bit soft so they try to shoot like a crossbow right in there it's a fascinating story <laughs> no, stay. No, stay. Yes. very cool Where are you from, sir? I'm from the Netherlands Learning. yes we <laughs> test them, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so good, so good. Hey, <laughs> Udaba. Oh, they know, right? We should not go there. Really? He's there. The rhino is there? Yeah, it's a bit dangerous over there. <sighs> you see? See if there is a rhino. And you know what? Rhinoceros? Yeah. They always poop in the same place. No, no matter if they poop here and they go to some other places. Far away, then also they will come back to poop in same place. So people know that they will see that poops of rhinoceros. And that's where yeah, they're yeah, trying yeah, to yeah, hunt and them. They will hide there. They, when they're pooping, they just hunt them. You know? That's yeah. fascinating, really. Sugo knows a lot about the wildlife in Nepal. So even though I just gave you instructions <laughs> of uh, how to find and hunt rhinos, don't do it. Totally not cool. Anyways, look at this view. I really can't believe what I'm seeing right now. It's incredibly beautiful. We got the, the sun setting slowly, the river. <laughs> so beautiful, right? Yes. Okay. Wow. Hey. Who can make the deep? Oh my God. <laughs> See how deep you fell in there. Hope they don't have animals. <laughs> Like get out of there, maybe that's that's the d dangerous sand. Then I will never do this again. Well, at least oh, if the ch if the <laughs> <laughs> I, I wanted to go there. I will never do this again. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
Very nice, very nice. Thank you. So uh, we just entered the national park. I don't know if this is a national park actually, but it's a very nice park, nice uh, natural area. And it only costs 20 rupees if you're a foreigner and 10 rupees if you're a local. So uh, for us, that was uh, 30 rupees. It's almost nothing, it's almost free. And our hotel is uh, very close to here, like, like 30 second walk from this uh, natural area. So uh, this is kind of like the front garden. And uh, I mean, every hotel here, there's only like three, four, five hotels here in uh, Galagard. So uh, every hotel, of course, is located as close as possible to this natural area. Galagard itself is also a very nice uh, little village. You know, you can walk around in five minutes. You can see everything. You can see some local houses, you know, some tr traditional houses. So right there, is uh, like a like a viewpoint to see the sunset and also it's a place where two big rivers come together and form an even bigger river all local tourists because uh, someone told me that uh, foreign tourists rarely wander around in uh, in Gullegard. so uh, I mean if you're watching this vlog and you're not from uh, Chitwan area then, uh, or you're from another country, that would be even better. And definitely check out this place, I highly recommend it. For one day, maybe. It's, uh, it's a tiny village, but there's a lot to see in this tiny village. Oh my god, this, this guy! Yeah. You're gonna do the same as him? Yeah! You, you saw my camera nice and Back camera! Can you climb this? You want me to change the back camera? Yeah. <laughs> Man, you know, like swing. statistically, vlogging no. One, from two, three. <laughs> from inside a tree is not really safe. Oh, <laughs> oh, in the in the mud. <laughs> oh my God, it's it's yeah. still filming. You have a good it's phone. It's still filming. Sugo has found her new hobby <laughs> here in Gullegard. <laughs> <laughs> 